Hey guys, thanks for joining us for another Unity scripting tutorial. My name is Darren with Renaissance Coders and today we're going to be talking about raycasting in Unity. We're going to cover two main functions, raycast and raycast all. And what we're going to be simulating here is we're going to be shooting a, uh, a raycast from this sphere. Okay, so I'll zoom in here a little bit. We're going to be shooting a raycast from the sphere in this direction passing through these five planes. Now the goal is to represent visually the raycast and the fact and, and, and the uh, positions that the raycast passes through these planes. So we're going to be using debug draw line to represent the physics raycast and the hit points. Okay, let's go ahead and start off by creating a new script. So I'm going to right click on my project panel, go to create and C sharp script. I'm going to call this raycast testing. I'm going to drag and drop this onto my sphere since that's where we're actually um, shooting the raycast from. Okay, I dragged it on my sphere. All right, and we'll go ahead and open this up. And here is our empty script. Okay, now I'm going to have one parameter here for our ray distance. So I'm going to say public float max ray distance. And this is just going to be how far we're going to be shooting our ray. All right, and then we're going to call uh, void fixed update. So since this uses since raycasting uses physics, technically we should put this into fixed update. All right, and then what we're going to do is we're going to create a ray. So raycasting, all it is is you're shooting um, a cert we're shooting a array. Okay, so we're shooting a vector from an origin in a certain direction. That's all. That's all a ray is a vector with an origin and a direction. So ray ray equals new ray. The origin is our transform dot position, our our sphere's position. The direction is uh, let's see if we can find the direction. So we want it to shoot from the sphere and 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 the direction towards the uh, planes. Okay, so this red uh, this red axis signifies vector three dot right. So we want to go the other direction. So our direction is going to be vector three dot left. Okay, so we'll just say vector three dot left, and that gives us our ray direction. All right, so there's one more thing we need, and it's called a raycast hit. And what the hit is, whatever ends up in the hit, is actually the position. The it's actually going to give us the collider of whatever the raycast ran into, which is going to be that first plane. All right, so what we're going to say is if physics dot raycast, and physics dot raycast returns a boolean. So if we hit something, it'll return true, and if we don't hit anything, then we will return false. So there's a lot of different options here that we can choose from. We have 12 different uh, parameter options for raycast. Okay, and I can't seem to get this to work properly. Here we go. So these are all the different options for raycast. Uh, the one we're going to be using is going to be, uh, let's see, ray. This is going to be the one we use, the sixth option, ray, a hit info, and a max distance. So we're going to pass ray and then we're going to say out hit and then we're going to pass max ray distance okay so again if we hit something this will return true and we can say debug dot log just to test we're going to say you hit array okay so if this works then we should see this showing up in the debug log so let's go ahead and run this and there we go it says you hit array in our console okay so we know we're doing it right I'm just gonna pause this for now all right, now what I want to do is represent what's going on visually. So I'm going to draw a, a debug line that represents our raycast. Okay, so the debug dot draw line method is actually going to take a vector three start and a vector three end, and we can even give it a color. The start is going to be transform dot position because that's where our ray starts. Our ray starts right here, transform dot position. Now to represent the end point, what we can do is say vector three. Actually, first we need to say transform dot position plus vector three dot left times max ray distance, and so this is actually going to give us the end point um, of vector three dot left times max distance plus our transform position. Max ray distance is going to be how far the raycast is actually being shot, and then our third parameter is just going to be a color. Okay, so I'll make this line red. So we should see a red line passing through each one of the five planes. Let's go ahead and unpause it. And there you can see the red line passing through the uh, five planes, almost dead in the center. 
All right, so now what our goal is is to show that um, it, we want to visually represent the hits. So while we do have the raycast going through the planes, we want to verify we're actually getting that that uh, hit objects information. So what we're going to do is we're going to be drawing a line from the hit point straight up into the air to verify this. Okay, so what we can do is say debug.drawLine. Now our start position is going to be hit.point. So we're accessing our Raycast hit uh, member, and we can say hit.point to get the point of the collision with the Raycast and the collider. Okay, so we're going to say hit.point. That's going to be our start. And our end is going to be, since we want to pass this straight up into the air, we're going to say hit.point plus vector3.up times 5. And now we should see a line that's going straight up into the uh, straight up into the air from the hit position. And we're going to pass a color, we'll say color.green. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. Okay, and there we go. So since we're only using Raycast, we're only going to get one hit. Alright, now if we use Raycast all, then we'll actually get uh, we'll get four green lines because our Raycast is going up through these four planes and not quite hitting that fifth plane yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and pause it and we're going to switch over to using Raycast All. Now Raycast All works a little bit differently. We're not going to be putting it inside an if statement because unlike Raycast, the physics Raycast All actually returns an array of hits. So I'm going to modify Raycast Hit to an array of Raycast Hit. I'm going to call it Hits, and I'm going to set it equal to Physics.RaycastAll. All. And we're going to pass similar parameters. We're going to pass Array. We're going to, and we're not going to pass Hit because we're returning this. This, this function actually returns Hits for us. So we are going to pass our max ray distance. So max ray distance. Okay, now what we can do is loop through each one of our hits and do the same thing we did with our draw line um, a couple minutes ago. So we're going to say for each raycast hit, hit in hits, in our hits array, and we're going to draw a line. So debug.draw line, our start point is hit.point, and our end point is hit.point plus vector 3 dot up times 5 and we're going to color these green okay now let's go to unity and see if you can predict what will happen I'll go ahead and unpause this and so this is what happens we hit 4 our raycast went through 4 planes and so we have 4 draw uh, debug lines drawing up into the air uh, based on the hit point information Okay, now if we want the fifth plane to be included, all we have to do is increase the max ray distance. So I'm going to take this and modify it up to about 30. And once I do that, the raycast goes clear through that fifth plane, and now we have five green points uh, shooting up into the air. Now there's some other cool things that we can do with raycasts, and what we can do is actually single out some of these objects, some of these planes to make sure they aren't going to get hit. So you might have a scenario where you want to get multiple objects in your raycast, but you don't want to get every every single object that that raycast comes um, comes in contact with in between your, your target and your um, starting point. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to single out this middle plane. Okay, we don't want that to get hit, or we don't want it to be recognized as a hit. So what we're going to do is set it on its own layer. Okay, so let's create a layer for this. And I'm going to set the layer to um, invisible or something like that. Actually, I'll, what I'll, I'll call it something a little bit more reasonable. I'll call it Raycast Ignore. Okay, so this is going to be ignored. Oh, look, they silly me, they already have an Ignore Raycast layer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is take that cube sorry about that and I'm going to set it to ignore raycast okay and when I do that it actually does it for you um, it'll actually take out the um, it'll actually take out that 
that hit point so you don't see that green line. Now I do want to show you another way that we can do this. So I'm going to give it its own layer. I'm going to, I'll, I'll call it Raycast Ignore. And I'll show you why I'm doing this in just a second. Okay, and I'll, I'll go ahead and move it over to Raycast Ignore. Now when I unpause it, you can see that green line come back. Okay? And the reason is because I haven't told the physics uh, Raycast All function to ignore that layer. So what I'm going to do is come to my, I'm going to come to Visual Studio to edit the code a little bit. Now one of the parameters I can pass here is a layer mask. Okay? So what I want to do is create a new public member called uh, so public layer mask and I'll I will call this um, I'll just call it layers I'll call it active layers okay and active layers is going to represent basically in this case what can get hit okay so in my third parameter for raycast all I'm going to pass a an active layer so active layers and you can do this with Raycast as well. It's not limited to just Raycast all. Okay? You can do this with almost any casting function. Okay, now if we click on our sphere, you'll see our inspector should update. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I made that public. Okay. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't save my script. I apologize. Okay. So now we should see our inspector update. All right. There we go. And so we can set the active layer. So right now, if I, um, if it's running, we don't actually have any hits because there's no active layers. So I have to actually set this. I'll set it to everything, and then I will uncheck Raycast Ignore. Okay. So currently, you can see that we're getting all of our hit points, all five. But when I select Raycast Ignore we lose that middle point. That middle uh, plane isn't getting recognized anymore. Okay, so that's going to conclude this tutorial where we talked about Raycast and Raycast All. Hope you guys liked the video. If you did, drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Go ahead and show us some support. Uh, but as always, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.